happening. I've got the radar pulled up for Daytona Beach. If you plan on watching later on today, some good news that rain is moving out, even starting to see some peaks of sunshine down there on the Florida coast as well. So things should go off without a hitch later on today, as long as they can get the track dry in time from the rain this morning. Uh, not much cloud cover or rain to talk about elsewhere in the southeast. We have high pressure moving in, and that's really going to control our weather for the next few days. Clear skies overhead last night really allowed us to cool down. Check it out. Burlington and Alamance County at 24 Greensboro 25 this morning. These are the morning lows. Martinsville dropped down into the teens, so another cold morning, but we're making some progress. All the sunshine really helping to warm us up a bit. Winston Salem already at 50. Some other locations hitting 50 as well. Some still stuck in the upper 40s. Still cool outside, but with the sunshine later on this afternoon, helping it to feel a bit more comfortable. Check out the beautiful view of our Blues Lake. Crystal clear Carolina of blue skies out there. Bit of a breeze coming off the lake, but elsewhere not bad. Feeling pretty comfortable outside this afternoon. The Piedmont Triad will make it up to right around 55, 54 for the foothills, and a little bit cooler up in the mountains, but still not too bad for this time of year. These highs are right around average for where we should be on February 19th. 49 up in the mountains later on today. We have some nice weather going forward too in the forecast. Really not much to complain about here. Uh, one thing you do notice is the rain icon. I know I'll talk about that in a minute, but the overnight low temperatures going back to work tomorrow and then Wednesday morning as well. It's going to be cold. Another uh, couple of nights below freezing starting off in the upper 20s Tuesday, but you see by the afternoons lots of sunshine and highs in the mid to upper 50s, so that's going to feel nice. Nice weather comes in uh, as well next couple days, but we do have some clouds that will increase on Thursday as winds turn out of the southwest and warm up our temperatures. We're in the low 60s Thursday and Friday, so certainly getting more mild, feeling a bit more like spring outside, but until then staying nice and dry right around average for this time of year. Those temperatures warm up and we see the showers start to move in Saturday or not Saturday, excuse me, Thursday evening. They're still back off to our west, but I don't think we have anything to worry about until Thursday night and early Friday morning. We'll see how many of these showers actually make it across our North Carolina mountains, but thinking early in the day on Friday, the chance for a few scattered showers, and this is really looking like a Thursday night and Friday morning thing, mostly while we're sleeping. But for that Friday morning commute, we could have a couple showers in the area uh, before this all moves out in the weekend looking dry, a bit cooler, but still dry. Nice weekend shaping up. Uh, rainfall amounts don't look too terribly heavy, maybe a tenth of an inch at most with most of the, uh, the locations reporting uh, low rainfall totals. This is really looking like another one of those quick hitting weak puny systems moving through similar to what we saw at the end of last week. So here's your seven day forecast. Nice weather for the next couple of days. Clouds increase and a bit more mild later in the week. Remember that rain chance low in Thursday night into early Friday and then a little bit of a cool down, but we've got the sunshine back over the weekend.